Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Lego Harry Potter years one through four. In the last episode, we completed the main adventure, but now I guess there's more? Where does this bring me to? This brings me back to Hogwarts. Okay, um, I wanted to start the free play adventure today. Of course, we could play through the levels and get more stuff unlocked, and that's really what we're gonna be mostly focused on. With that being said, if we wanna revisit any levels, we can find that right here in um, the level selection, I suppose this is. We'll probably start with the Magic Begins. I'm gonna try to get as much of year one 100% finished in today's episode. With that being said, there's a couple things I wanted to get into because of the fact that uh, free play is a little bit difficult in this because we still don't have a Dark Wizard. I actually don't how to change my characters. Uh, maybe that's something we can find out soon. But um, right now the game's telling me to go back to Hogwarts Castle. So I'm gonna try that out really fast. Return to Hogwarts. I don't know why it's telling me to do this. Maybe there's something special we can do here. But there is still so much we need to do in the game, so much we need to collect, and all starts now our free play adventure through the game. So yeah, we're gonna get to it and sort of see how it goes. Uh, so where does the ghost want me to go? Yeah, so, so now I know though, if I go back up here, I think that always leads to the leaky cauldron, or not. How do I get back to, okay, I can just press pause. So where is the ghost exactly leading me to, or is he just floating around? I don't really know, because this, oh no, he's leading me to somewhere. Huh, I might as well see what this is about, I don't really know. Um, I did do a little bit of research, though. There is somewhere I wanna go before we get started with trying to 100% complete year one, because like I said, I don't think we have a dark wizard unlocked. Um, so we're gonna have to sort of jump around a little bit, unfortunately. Okay, this is gonna move over. Thank you very much. And then we need to move you, if you don't mind. Hey, buddy. There we go. Yeah, where is he bringing us? Because this isn't, is it doing like the last level of year four again? That might be the case. If it is, then obviously we don't need to do this. But why would it be telling me to do that again? We've already completed year four. Huh. That would be odd, wouldn't it? Um, for right now, let's just, no, 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 hold on. What do I gotta do? Um, is it because you guys aren't standing in the right spot? There we go, I think that might have been it. Ron was on the staircase. Yeah, it's telling me to go back to Dumbledore's room. That's weird. Yeah, last time Dumbledore was actually here to do this. Also, where's the, I don't know what happened to the, the buttons on the screen. They're not here anymore. What is happening with this? I don't know, that's not really what I was, oh, hey! You know what? Sure, why not, let's grab that. We got Professor Binns. Oh, cool, Professor Binns is like the history of the wizardy stuff teacher. Uh, now I'm fine with collecting anything along the way. Of course, I'm gonna try to do it in a cohesive way so that people watching, if they need to keep up, you know, that's fine. Yeah, here we are, this is just his office. Oh, hey, Mr. Phoenix. Oh, you turned to a red brick. This is a red brick, where do I put it? Um, good question. What do I do with it? How do I collect it? Um, I don't know. Can I give it back to you? You, you want this back? What do I do with this? I'm gonna put it down for now. What is this about? Whoa, it's Voldemort. Creepy. Doodle mustache on him. <laughs> Okay, that's just as good. Oh, I think, was there something over here I could do? Maybe. Uh, hello, Mr. Bird. Can I can I give this to you? Can I even fit over there with this? Yeah, look at that. So we still need to purchase the red brick, but that is invincibility unlocked. Well, that's cool. Was that what it was leading me to? I don't know why the game wanted me to come here now. Whoa, bunches of studs in here, that's cool. Um. Something, once again, I don't know how to switch characters. I need to maybe look that up in a moment because right now I can only play as Harry, Ron, and Hermione. If I pause the game, it says I have four characters unlocked though. And I can't do this then, unless I make a super strong thing. But that's not what I wanted to do right now. Anyways, um, so we're not gonna do this for right now. We're gonna come back to this at some point or another. Uh, my main focus for right now is actually going uh, to the clock tower because there's the times two stud red brick, and we're gonna need that at the least so that we can get a couple of things. We need to get, um, what is it called? We need to get the times two red brick so that we can get all of the true wizards at the least. I think that's all we really need. We really don't need any of the other multipliers, I don't think. Uh, so this we're just gonna try and we're gonna find out how it works out. So here we are in the main lobby area we usually start in. My goal is to just keep going and hopefully we should be able to find the clock tower. See, he now he just leads me somewhere else. So maybe the ghost really isn't doing anything too important. 
Um, but I think that if I go this way, I should be able to find the clock tower. This area specifically has a times two red brick, and then we'll get started with 100% completing year one. I mean, if we can get in there. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, let's quickly, do we have Ridiculous as Harry actually? I don't know what the Ridiculous for Harry looks like. Let's try that out. Oh no, we don't. All right, well, I thought we learned it, but no, wait, where's, well, let's play as Hermione. I don't do this with Hermione very often, so I'd like to. There we go, Ridiculous. Gonna pop up, turning into a trophy. That's not even ridiculous, though, is the funny thing. That's just awesome. It's like, oh, okay, cool. I got the trophy, I win. Anyways, we're gonna get this and go right over this way. And then I, I haven't like looked into how to do most of the stuff in free play, but I did wanna make sure that we weren't backtracking levels. I didn't wanna go to like, oh yeah, to get a Dark Wizard, you need to complete level three of year four and then go all the way back to year one and then it's like really confusing. So I know of a way to get a Dark Wizard now because I looked into it. But first we're gonna complete this tower. Can I, can I make you free? Up oh, there, you got your free, hooray! <laughs> Student in peril, completed. Very cool. So yeah, we're just gonna complete this area right now. I don't know if it tells us anywhere if I try to like pause the game. Um, no, it doesn't. Yeah, of course, this old school Lego game does definitely have some different tendencies to it than like some of the other Lego games. I think this will reverse time, I don't know. Um, let's find out. Can I interact with it? Oh, here we go, yeah, it does reverse time. That's not quite what I was gonna do right now. I don't know if that's, oh, okay, I get the Milkman character. Milkman, unlocked. Can I leave and come back? Because I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do this yet. I just wanted to see what that was. So I think that reverses time with the little reverse time thing that she had in year three. You'd think she'd use that more often, but I guess not. Uh, But yeah, this is the area we need to complete. I just need to do it properly this time. Excuse me, pardon me. Okay, so let's go back in there. I'm just gonna try to complete everything there is in this area, but it, without a checklist, it could be hard to know. I do see you up here, sir. I'm gonna zap you. Oh, and that just makes that stop perfectly. Cool. And same thing over this way. Okay, so, I mean, I, I might as well finish the job. There it is. So what's with all this stuff? <laughs> we got all these little weird clocks. I guess we gotta match up the color a little bit. So let's switch over to Wingardium Leviosa. There we go. Got a green one over this way. Got a yellow one over here, and then finally the blue one, of course, in the only slot where things aren't filled out. Oh, and there's the red brick, okay, cool. We got it. So it looks like, yeah, these little things are done spinning, so we should just be able to get up here, no problem. Here's the bird again. Hey there, birdie bud. I'm gonna give this to you if you'll let me. So that should be the times two red brick. We still need to buy it. I think we can do that back in Diagon Alley. We'll find out sooner or later. I'm gonna attack this. What does this do? Oh, it's a cuckoo clock. He gave me a gear. So like, I don't really know too much more about the clock tower more than it had that red brick. So everything else in here is sort of a mystery to me. Uh, there we go. And that broke it more. Maybe there's more we have to do. There's a snake. Can I hit the snake? <laughs> He's not very happy to see me. Um, maybe there's something else we can do. Oh, is this? Ah, there's spiders, there's a snake. Harry, can you talk to it? Did you just sneeze at me? I guess he wants, is this an egg? He ate it. We'll have fun with that, I guess. Whoa, whoa. The bell is ringing. Oh, look at that, we get a gold brick. That's cool. I will happily grab this right there. Gold bricks, 45 out of 200. Very cool, so we're gonna just try to climb up more and more with all of our gold brick count. What does that do? Oh, that guy's the character. <laughs> Vernon Dursley. All right, I guess Vernon Dursley is a snake butt. All right, I, I, I guess that's fine. So that looks like everything around here. I, I don't really see too much more I can do. So our next best bet is likely going to be actually reversing the time with Hermione now. Can you do it? Yes, you can. And let's see what's going on in this room when the time is reversed. So there's sort of like two rooms in one. Yeah, we're sort of back in time now. I can mess with this torch. Didn't do anything spectacular. Yeah, there was the milkman over here before. Hmm. What about this? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, stand on the button if you don't mind. So I don't know how I'm gonna help them up. 
but maybe we'll find a way. For right now, I mean, as long as one of us is up here, that's really what matters. Okay, so there's a couple of things going on here. First off, let's do Lumo, Sol Lumo Solemn. Make you drop this thing. Oh, it's a gargoyle head. Oh, you know what? That's probably how I get everybody else up here. I can put that on top of there. And can you guys come up? Uh, What is that doing? Maybe, yep, okay, that stopped it. Very cool. Still gotta collect as many studs as I possibly can. That's still really important to do. There we go. But now we can switch over to Reducto and we can zap that thing. Very cool. And what will this have for us? Stars, moon, hat, potion. Got a bit of a zigzag. And what do we get for this one? We get Madame Rosmerta. I forget who she is but she is who she is. We can build something over here for the clock. Well, this is pretty cool so far. Oh, it's one of the clock hands. Okay, gotcha. Looks like the minute hand. Oh yeah, it's another big cuckoo clock or something. But yeah, now it's time that we go through every area and we interact with everything. I don't know how far I wanna get in everything in today's episode, but I am gonna try my darndest just to, you know, make some good progress. It may just end up being that we adventure around today, but we get started with year one's free play next episode. Can we wake you up? Wakey, wakey. You got any more pieces for us or something? Uh, yeah, you got a big alarm clock and the pigeon. That made a big mess. And that's gonna be the hour hand. So it looks like I probably need to get the blue onto the blue and the green onto the green if that's possible. Yep. Perfect. Wait, it didn't work. Why not? There it is. Whoa, okay, are these guys gonna fight? Hit him. Oh, yikes, it's gonna feel that one in the morning. And that got us a gold brick. Okay, so hopefully that's everything in this area because I don't see anything else. Gold brick, 46 out of 200. Very cool. That's sort of the weird thing, is that there really is no way to know? Like in the specific area, you know, it's Hogwarts Castle, but yeah, there's no like specific collection requirement for this area. I'm really not seeing too much more though. Like I can like blast that spider web. And I guess that's just truly how you find out in a game like this is that you just interact with everything until you find out if there's anything more to interact with. Um, ah, <laughs> whoopsies, not what I wanted. Um, so there we go. Oh, we can interact with these. Turn on the lights a little bit. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna go and activate the, the red brick and then I think we're good to actually move on to some of year one because to unlock the one Dark Arts Wizard I know to unlock, that's like the most easiest to unlock in this point of the game, we actually do have to complete year one of free play. So that's what we're gonna get started with today. Maybe I'll do only half of the first year. We'll sort of have to see, but to do that, we might as well go ahead and all of this progress will be lost. But it says I got two out of 20. I think it's saved, I think it's saved. Um, because I'm at 46 out of 200. I'll find out if that changes. If so, I guess I'll have to redo it, but oh well. If not, then I don't know how to get back to the Leaky Cauldron. Um, but yeah, we need to go back to the Leaky Cauldron because that is where Tygon Alley is and that's where we should be able to activate the Red Brick and then we can start playing the year one levels again. And we'll just, it, it's, it's a bit of a process right now. Um, no, but it seems like everything's saved, so we're good. How do we get out to Tygon Alley? Just, just this way? Looks like it. So there's a bunch of stores out here. Not too many of them I'm gonna mess with if I don't have to. Uh, what is this? Madame Malkin's robes. Oh, is this where we buy characters? I think it is. As you can see, a lot of these characters are locked. You'd think they'd have like a grid instead of this really long swivel, because who knows how many characters there are. Hmm. So I don't think I have the character I need. There's Oliver Wood. I'm gonna hold on to my money for now. So I can buy the red bricks, because you have to do that in this game, just like you need to in most Lego games. But I don't see the character I need, which was Grip Hook. I don't think we have him unlocked. I think we find him in the first level of year one. So that'll be the hope that we can get that done. So nothing here for now. I'm going to leave, what is this? The Ilops Owl Emporium. Hi. Oh. Oh, we can buy gold bricks here. Instead of like actually earning them? Like what's the idea? There's 12 gold bricks we can get. 
Well, the first gold brick is free, but I'm gonna leave that. I, I don't know, I don't trust it. Look at all these golden owls too, oh, that's cool. Not what I'm looking for, unless like maybe upstairs, like maybe downstairs is gold bricks, upstairs is red. Aha, that is the case. All right, silhouettes, ice rink, disguise, carrot wands. <laughs> score times two and invincibility. We're just gonna do score times two. It's all I really need. So what I should be able to do now is pause the game, uh, go to extras, go to score times two, there we go. And we should now get times two studs. Indeed we do. Hopefully that'll get us, help us get the true wizards wherever we need it. So we're just gonna go back and choose level one from uh, the Leaky Cauldron. Should be great. So here we go, like I said before, this is where we can choose our level. I'm gonna be choosing the first one. The magic begins. Let's do our free play. Should be fun, and as you can see, okay, so this is where we can choose characters. We only have one, Justin Finch Fletchley. <laughs> So we're just gonna stay with our core three, and I can only hope that's enough. Oh, okay, no Ron, apparently it chose for me. Weird. <laughs> I don't think it matters too much, but, so here we are at the Leaky Cauldron, and it's just my job now, with all of our wizarding abilities, to just sort of explore everything as much as possible, like interact with as many different things, really beat everything up, and just not go the way we're supposed to go, basically. Actually explore for everything else for now. And if we can get as many studs as possible, of course, so we can get that full stud meter, I really hope we can. So yeah, before I had to go up there to get the, yeah, I remember this. So luckily, seeing how I played this game very recently, just you know, a couple episodes ago, I already know where I'm supposed to go, so I can avoid that at all costs, basically, and just try to interact with everything else. Like, that did something, and now I can interact with this, and it makes a picture. Oh, I see it in there. I need to get a second one. In free play plus ZR, ZR. Oh, here we go. Whoa, I do have grip hook. Really? No, well, I mean, I have him here, but I don't think I have him in the main story or the main thing. So I think I can unlock him in this first level. We'll find out. And this is where it's just a little awkward for right now, but I think that once we get our groove, we'll be able to get through this real fast. I didn't mean to pick you up, I'm sorry. I wanna interact with all this. Okay, well, I put all the cups away. That's good, we're doing some tidying up for everybody. What's with these? Here we go. I can make the bar stools do a little switcheroo. Is there a droid in there? Oh, what is with that? No, it's just like a moving thing. What's it doing? I don't know. Weird. I can move these cups as well. This is gonna give me some free stuff, which is good though, because I need all the studs we can possibly get. And I don't think I'll be like replaying the entire level on camera, just you know, the stuff where there's actually things to do, you know? Um, that got me more things to build. It should be the second picture. Put that right there. And look at that, we get the red thing. Oh, um. How do I get it? Maybe I need these to move back into the position they were? No, can you move, sir, please? I think that's the case. Why is it not working? There it goes, okay, cool. And can we, first off, destroy these, yep. <laughs> so many people in the way. There's a giant keg over this way. We can hit it, it'll give us money, but we can't destroy it. Still giving us money, too. We need to get as much as we can, so. Whatever it's willing to give me, I will gladly take. It looks like third time's a charm with that. Yep, can we go actually behind the bar though? Not looking like it. Nothing we can really interact with back there. We can go on to the table. Okay, you move, lady. Thank you. Oh, look at this, yeah, the musical chairs. I remember this joke I made already. And that's it, okay. Um, well, that gave us some studs, and I know we need to go up there to actually move forward, but if I can avoid that, like I said, That'll be pretty good. It looks like that's, oh wait, wait, wait. Was there something I can move here or was it that lady again? I think it was that lady again. Is there anything more I could do with this? It just keeps making me more studs than I'm gonna keep doing it. Oh, I can ride in this chair. Wonder if this will actually do anything for me. I don't think so. You need a handle open this door. I will find one soon enough. I really hope I don't miss anything. I mean, it'll tell me, right? Yeah, everything I can possibly find. So that's good. If we know we miss anything, I can just replay the level. But for now, make these tables continuously do flips until they don't give me any more money. So it looks like 30 times for each of them. I wanna do this one for another third time. Looks like that's all I can do there. Okay, so we are good to break that. Uh, yeah, and then I can lift people up maybe. Lift me up, or lift you up. Okay, so I do wanna see, like how many other characters do we have? That's really it. So I don't know if I'm supposed to have grip hook right now, it's very confusing. 
Um, I guess maybe because he is going to be playable later in this level, I think that's the idea. Okay, um, so I need to do that. And when it's blue, put it right there. And we should be able to open it now. Okie doke. So we are gonna make our way out, but the one thing I'm worried about is we don't have nearly enough studs for the full Troop Wizard. Oh, what about this? Okay, this is gonna complete this wall. I think that's fine to do now. It'll give me some studs. I'll grab them as quickly as I can before they get away from me. But I do have to turn around to make sure we're just getting as much done as we possibly can. Because I think that like most things we can do at the moment. So that's good. I think all things except for any Dark Wizard related things. Which I'm hoping we just don't run into. We'll have to wait and see. It is fun to take my time a little bit more and just truly explore the area. That's always fun. What do we got over here? It looks like you, hello. Oh, and you're just gonna give me, yeah, I already got that piece, so that's good. And what is this about? It just gave me studs. They just fall all over the place, so it's actually hard to catch up to them. Whoa, goodbye. Um, Nothing more for me, okay. What's on this side of the street? We have a barrel full of different utilities that are all now on the floor, which I can use to build as well. I can hop into the barrel if I wanted to. Don't know what that really does for me. I could throw it on the back guy. What is this? Good question. It's a brooming machine. Well, isn't that cool? This is glowing as if like there's something inside of it. Yeah, I don't know what this is for. Oh, look, there's Professor Quirrell. Maybe there's gonna be a point in time where I'm not supposed to go somewhere. I can use that. All right. Well, we'll just keep looking around. Can I just, oh, I can ride on this. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if this actually has a purpose beyond being really silly though, is the thing I get worried about. Okay, well there's a blue stud over there. We're almost halfway through with our true wizard. I mean, there's still a good chunk of this level to go through. We need to actually, all right, well goodbye. Where's the chair running off to? Who knows? <laughs> this game's weird. Okay, I destroyed that one. It dropped a bunch of studs, I need to go get them. Oh yeah, there's a student in peril up there. We'll help you in just a moment. And look at that, a whole new set of stuff. For no real reason, but um, at least we know we can do it, I guess. Are all those furniture stuff, is, is that all doing something down this way, or what? I mean, I think they left, they're just gone. No, they're just over here. Okay, can I put you in the, on one of them? I guess not. <laughs> Weird. So how am I getting up there? It looks like I need to do something with this table. Oh, maybe I can just, ah, you guys can help me up. Bring me up, thank you. And hey, buddy. Have I saved you just by giving you moral support? There we go, we got our student in peril. That's good to see. Um, Got a couple more studs. Got plenty of these little cages to beat up. I do see a purple set up that way. I want that. And what is this? Oh yeah, this is for the potion. So I can, I can leave that alone for now. And I can build this thing. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna boing. There we go. So I guess I might have already done this in the past. Yeah, I remember the cat. That was pretty good though. So I guess for right now we can complete the potion. I'm gonna grab that and get rid of the spider web. Oh wow, I can't, <laughs> it's too powerful. Okay, well there's something with the flower there we'll do in just a moment. Right now I am gonna put this in if it'll let me. Grab the flower, do the same thing, come on. And can I damage any of this? I can break that and this, good stuff. We are actually, now we're almost at a full stud meter because of that purple stud, so that's really good. Oh, I need you to move, because you are just permanently in the way right now. Like, dude, seriously? Yep, that's it, go away. I need to do stuff with the ice cream stand. Awesome. And there we go. <laughs> so what's gonna happen with that? Whoa, big explosions. All right, well, he's not so happy about it, but that's okay. Oh yeah, and he does that to this lady for some reason. Who knows why. Um, so yeah, now we are good to change back to Hagrid, who's been chilling out over this way. And we should just be able to go in here, Green gets the bank, and let's find what we can get. I can, first off, stack a bunch of books. It doesn't really do anything besides get me studs, but it's important to do that. 
So there's a lot to explore around here. So we definitely want to be as diligent as possible. What was that about? That was weird. Um, and then we can blast this thing. A bunch of studs in there. Oh, there we go, true wizard. I mean, we'll keep doing stuff because you never know. Ding, ding, ding. That doesn't do much besides, you know, give me studs, but you never know. I'm gonna need a lot of studs to buy more stuff, so sooner or later it will be helpful. Whoa, whoa, that was pretty explosive. I do see this, what is this? It's like a butterfly book or something. Goodbye book. That's exactly what I need to find, is how many things can I interact with right now? This one light bulb is not on one out of eight. There we go, I need that kind of stuff. Interact with light bulbs until we have all eight of them. That seems to be quite important. Uh, we got this one over here. And over this way, we got that one. So it looks like I can actually break these chairs. It doesn't seem to actually get me anything worthwhile besides studs. But uh, that's good to know. Oh, there's another one of these. Is this a numbered event? No, it just it's just studs. Okay, over here we have number five, number six. So I could actually just move forward and not talk to you. <laughs> that's funny. Number seven and number eight. And that should, it just gives me a purple stud. Wait, really? Doesn't even give me a piece of a thing? That's weird. Uh. Huh. Oh, is this, a, there's another Gringotts dragon back this way. And I should be able to actually get in there. That'll be fun. Oh, you know what? I need somebody to levitate me. All right, I'll go on as Harry. Maybe that'll be a little bit easier. And there's just studs up here. Like, studs are great, but I have other things with the level I need to progress with. I mean, mostly it's just the, the Hogwarts emblem, I think. We'll find out eventually, I suppose. But yeah, I guess I'll just keep looking for that kind of stuff. Oh no, let's put this away. And what about that? If it doesn't have like a special effect to it, I think it's fine. Well, what is this about? That was weird. I like didn't accomplish anything, but okay. Um, yeah, we need Reducto, right? No, not Reducto. No, yeah, Reducto. Hello, dragon. May I come in? I want a purple stud. Oh, there's Quirrell. You're just, you're just hanging out. All right, thought it was it was like something fancy or something, but nope. Hello, Mr. Wizard. So what does this do? It's gonna move the dragon out of the way, and we found another piece. So we're only looking for one more. That'll be useful. Okay, so at this rate, I think that the only thing we can really do, besides like beating up random books and stuff that doesn't seem to have any true purpose, is that we can talk to you. I mean, we've already seen this cutscene, so I might just skip over it. Okay, maybe, I thought there was a cutscene here. Maybe the cutscenes just don't happen in free play. That'd actually be nice. Um, so we can now just switch over to Grip Hook. We always could. I don't know if that like activated something important though, you know? So n normally we just go through there, but as you can see, we can now do Redacto on this chest, which gets me uh, a character. Nice, it's Mr. Ollivander. I don't remember who that is but he's there. Hooray. And then what about over this way? Anything of interest? We have another one. Okay, first off, a little cart. Wee! <laughs> Watch out, out of the way. Got places to be. And what's inside of this one? Another secret character? It's uh, Tom the Innkeeper. Well, I guess he's keeping up with the inn. Cool to get some new characters, that's for sure. So it seems like characters are sometimes in those chests. Gotta keep that in mind. But still no grip hook. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to unlock right now is grip hook. Uh, well, there's plenty of other options around here. So before we give up and pouch and say we can't find them, we gotta still keep playing through the level. Yeah, this is just a treasure chest full of stuff. Sorry, grip hook, didn't mean to do that. See, we're gonna move forward with this level with this. Yeah, and this has a bunch of bricks. I remember, I have a memory. And this should help us move forward though. Yeah, this gives us the painting, yada yada, so we're good, we're fine. We got this, 139,000 studs though, we're doing crazy good. Hello. Ah, I spoke to him. Come on, give me the key. Or whatever you do. Oh yeah, that's right, he opens this up and now we can go through. Well, this is going pretty well so far. And now this is the area I need to explore a bit more. 
Ah, oh, okay. Here's another one of these chests. Maybe they always have characters in them. That'd be cool, actually. Looks like it. And there he is, there's Grip Hook. So between level one and level two, we need to actually go and do some other stuff. So we'll just have to keep that in mind. Yeah, I remember exploring this being a little bit confused on where I was actually supposed to go. But you know what? If it works, it works. Yeah, I don't know if I could actually, no, no, I could. I just gotta switch over to Grip Hook. I can go into this one. Did I do everything I need to do in this area though? I don't quite remember. So we might as well go and make sure now. Bunches of studs, some torches to activate. This isn't even Harry's vault is the funny thing. It's just somebody else's. And what does that do? Uh, oh yeah, that leads to a bunch of studs. Lift me up, Harry. <laughs> he won't do it. Maybe we always have to be Harry for these things. Like That's weird. Everybody else wants to have fun too. They want to be brought up on platforms. Have a good time. Okay, so yeah, this is the one we had to go to. I don't think it's the end of the level after this, is it? Ooh, did I miss something? I don't see how I could. We did like everything. Um, I can't remember, so we'll have to look through it. Come on now. And then Grip Hook, my buddy. Just open that up. Is that the end of the level? It might be. No, there's more. Okay, thank goodness. Uh, so we're back out of Diagon Alley now and we're supposed to go into there. But what happens if I just keep moving and exploring? Yeah, I remember this a little bit. Um, but it looks like there isn't anything new out here. It's the same area with the same things. Actually, I guess I can do something with this. Snip, snip, snip. Uh, not much, but, but it's something. Um, and that's what I'm looking for. Is there anything I could have potentially missed? Besides, you know, a bunch of chairs just convening. I guess not. I don't know, like I don't know what the deal is with the barrel. It's just a bunch of funny stuff you can mess with, really. Anyway, so let's go into the room. Uh, we'll get our wand, but is the level done after that? Oh, hello, you're new. Uh. Here is Lumos. Lumos. It looks like I can't actually do anything about it, though. I can't like I do anything against it. Yeah, I can't blast it or anything. Okay, then it's what it is. Let's go into here, and that's the end of the level. Okay, so I missed it, but where was it? I was like everywhere. <laughs> Come on. Oh well. So we got Tom the Innkeeper, we got Mr. Ollivander, and we got Grip Hook. So I gotta go back into that level, which is so frustrating. The first level. We get some stuff on the house crest, the red thing and the blue thing. I gotta find that the 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 otter for Hufflepuff. Ugh, where was it? I don't know. Anyways, 100% for the uh, true wizard. And we get the skyrocket all the way up to 970, ooh, it's gonna be, okay, 979,000 studs. And we get the student peril, which, what does that do for us? I don't know, it just makes us happy, I guess. I always thought that I unlocked a character, but I guess it doesn't really. How many gold bricks do we get? 47, 48, and that's it. All right, well, I'm gonna replay that level real quick to see if I can't find it, and then we'll go and unlock Grip Hook and do all that kind of stuff. I think this might be what I had to do. There's a lot of green goop over this way, and of course we got a little cleaning machine. We gotta clean it. I don't know how I didn't notice this, but here we go. Will this work? Oh, it's working. It's working all right. And boom, we get the yellow otter, the yellow piece of the Hogwarts crest. I'm gonna grab it. And hopefully I can just return to the leaky cauldron. Save and exit, there we go. So that should total it up. House crest, boom, there it is. We get the Hogwarts crest. So that's our first one completed of 24. Got lots more to go. So yeah, I'm super excited. Now we're gonna go back to the leaky cauldron in free play, of course, and unlock Rip Hook and do everything I need to do there. So we're gonna go back to Madame Malkin's robes and I just need to scroll through this whole thing and find out where Grip Hook is. And then I have to go back to Hogwarts and there's a place to unlock a certain dark wizard who is also a teacher that should be able to do dark wizard moves. So yeah, that should be good. Uh, I just gotta find him first. Here he is, Grip Hook, 55,000 studs, not too bad. So apparently in free play, I can't just go and change to whatever character, at least here, you know? I need to actually do the Polyjuice Potion whenever we're in Hogwarts, if I actually wanna do anything with that. So it is just good to keep in mind. Is this the Polyjuice Potion, actually? It might be. If it is, that's perfect. 
Yes, it is. So I'm actually going to keep his Harry, but I'm going to have to change Hermione just because. Uh, well, actually, maybe not. Because uh, it's hard to say. I wish I had a third character right now. I, I guess I'll change Hermione, though. I hope that I don't need her for anything. I don't know how long it'll last for. Hopefully, forever would be useful. Because now I gotta go back to Hogwarts. There we go. Turning into Grip Hook. Very cool. Okay, so here we are at the bottom of the clock tower, and apparently I just gotta go this way. I mean, I looked at a couple of different sources, and it looked like this was the best way to do it. And like I said, this is really the only thing I looked up. This and the clock tower for the Times 2 studs. These are the only things I looked up for this game. Everything else is totally fresh for me and I've never experienced before, just because I wanted to make sure that I can get as much done on the first one through as possible. Don't have to double back through anything. So we're in another one of those courtyards. That's where Professor Trelawney's stuff is. But this way should be where we're going. I think we need to go to the potions classroom, which is through this one with this big scary statue. And I figure after this, you know, after this, we should be good to just do every single story mode level in the next couple of episodes, but then we'll do the free play through Hogwarts and do the free play through uh, Diagon Alley and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is the room we need to be in. There should be a character up there or something. I, th I think we can actually give it a blast right now to find out. Uh, can we reach it? You bet we can. <laughs> yep, that's it. Okay, so you probably can see there for a moment, but I'll I'll let the uh, mystery continue. So I don't know how to get up there. I, I just know that this is the room where it's in. Um, oh, this is it. Okay, this is a potion. I just knew that you needed to be in this room and you need grip hook. So this is a, a Hufflepuff thing. Oh, I'm old right now. When did I take the old thing? I don't know. I'm old Harry. Well, that's not what I need. What I do need is to go to Justin Finch Fleshley because he will, of course, allow us to get this key. And I'm sure this key's gonna do something for us. I'm just trying to find out how to get up there. All right, grabbing that. And what's going on this way? I cannot get through this, hold on, there we go. Oh, okay, so is this, are these three key spots? It looks like it to me, so there's the first one. Maybe we can switch over to Hermione real quick and do this. Oh, there's another red brick up there too. Maybe I should do that now, I don't know. Okie doke. There is that key. And that should just go right over here. So we're just looking for the third and final thing. Hmm. Maybe I can attack these and that'll do something or not. Huh. Hey, there's the bird. Oh, is this a room? Can I go inside of this? I cannot. I'm a little confused on the third thing. But there's still some other stuff I can interact with. Like, what in the world's going on here? Are you gonna fly away? Whoa! Well, that definitely did something. Um, here we go. Oh, this could actually be a little key slot thing. Looked like it to me. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm gonna go back, and now I wanna change Hermione into Grip Hook. If it'll let me. Right over this way. You got it. I'm glad that it does provide these around the area. Is this working? I think it is. Whoa. Oh, that's another key. I didn't even see that up there. Awesome, that's the third and final one we needed. So I'm just gonna quickly grab it and we will walk across as fast as we can. We walk a little bit slowly when we're doing this move. And that's the third key. So hopefully that's everything we need. And maybe we could build that up to the side and get the red brick. I wouldn't mind just getting stuff done in here so we don't have to worry about it later. So, yeah. Lots of pieces available. I, mean, I don't need this to be super crazy to get up there. I could just snap that on like that. And if we get this green one, that actually might be enough right there. Let's just try to hop up and thank you very much. I got myself a red brick. I'll grab an extra blue one while I'm up here as well. And where are you at? I might as well do this, you know, it's just right here. Here you go, buddy. See ya. And that is score times 10, you're kidding me. Oh, that's awesome. All right, well, I don't know if we're gonna grab that right now. We probably can't afford it anyways. So I'm gonna leave that be. 
but that'll be awesome to get later for sure. Or awesome to use a bit more later. Can I, okay, this is all connected. If that works, I'd be happy. Oh no, it's fallen. Um, is there any way to disconnect it all? Or is it just stuck this way? I don't know why Ron's still trying to get up there. Buddy, we already got it. You were left behind, I'm sorry, but I can't like disconnect them. That actually might be, okay, there we go. I'll do that for right now. I mean, obviously this isn't perfect. But if it works, it works, right? I just hope it works. That might not be high up enough. Ah, not quite. So what am I doing wrong here? I guess I could... Hmm, I need to move this thing if it'll let me. These pieces are being a bit of a pain. Okay, well, I guess I'll do the gargoyle now too. It'll run off. No, 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 that was perfect. That's what I need. That's it. I'm gonna move this to the side. And can I please move, not that one, this one now. That's not quite any better, is it? Oh man, this game is getting very confused with what I'm trying to do. They made this too complicated for what the game can actually do. But this should be fine if I just click this in right there. Please game, actually let me put it in there. Well, that's not quite what I had imagined, but it's, it is slightly better. And it's good enough. Oh, if I had a beard, I could go into there. Does Harry still have his beard? I don't think he does, darn. Well, I don't have any other bearded characters at the moment, and that's why we'll have to come back. But that's okay. Um, as long as I remember to do that, hopefully I will. But anyways, as you can see, we unlocked Professor Snape. So now I now need to go back to Diagon Alley and get that. And that should be fine now. That'll be awesome. And here he is, Professor Snape for 250,000 studs. He is expensive, so that took me about an hour to do, but we finally got the first level done of free play, and we also unlocked every character we need for basically every other level of free play. I can only hope. With that being said, that's probably gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Next time around, we'll be doing the other five levels for year one. Um, but we're all good to go for free play as far as I understand. If we run into any bumps in the road, Oh well, we'll figure them out as we go along, but that should be most things covered. If there's one thing I do wanna check out, just out of curiosity, how much is that times 10? I probably do not have enough for it, but it's always good to know, isn't it? Score times two, a million. Oh, that's actually not too bad, I almost have that. So maybe I could go and get that at some point or another. Don't think I exactly need it, but we'll find out in the next episode of Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Before you go, be sure to comment free play zebra so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tazic viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.